Ribs are thin walled features, typically designed into the geometry of a part to increase its stiffness and strength. They are not the part of a functional design, that means they do not function, they just provide support to the functional part. Therefore, hatching lines are not applied to the ribs when the cutting plane passes along the length of the feature. Let's demonstrate this with the help of an example. A part containing a rib feature is shown here. The thickness of the rib is quite less as compared to the thickness of the part. A vertical cutting plane cuts the object across the axis of symmetry. Our task is to draw the full section front view of the part by applying special sectioning convention to the rib portion. Let's start by drawing the front view of the part. Now we visualize the part being cut by a cutting plane. It can be seen that the cutting plane passes along the length of the rib and divide the part into two half. Now identify the section surfaces in the front view. After this, a hatch pattern is applied to represent the sectioning area. Now let's take a look at a second part shown in the figure 2. This part do not contain a rib, instead, the entire part has got a uniform thickness. Now we make a sectional front view of this part using the standard sectioning steps. It is interesting to note that the sectional front views of both of the parts look exactly the same. This could lead to an incorrect interpretation as depicting a part with uniform thickness rather than as a ribbed part. Therefore in an effort to make some section views more readable, section lining is not applied to the outline of thin features like ribs. Let's modify the front view of the part which contain a rib feature. As per the special conventional practice, the hatching lines are not applied to the rib area in the front view thus making the interpretation of the ribs more clear.